Hello again, so we have reached the exercise 19 and it's a part of three exercises which is which are 19, 20 and 21 They are a bit difficult and let's start with the 19 So we need to delete the first occurrence of string into one another So for example here we have the string of Alphonse So we need to delete phone if it's available so we'll end with ALSE Pierre if I want to delete a E and I so there is no uh, the string here so it remains the same totally I would re delete the first occurrence of the string that starts with T and it's just T so it will be uh, O to the E so there's just one one T and I if I need to delete nothing from the first string it will remain the same so how can we uh, do that so we have already solved that in the exercise 17 however the, here we need to delete also and we don't need to find all the occurrence so there's no need to be as complicated as in exercise 17 so what we'll do that is we will loop over uh, the string the original string and if we find uh, the first character that's equal like here p equal to p i will uh, uh, check if uh, i can find phone and phones uh, so there's no need to have multiple counters so if you followed me in 17 because we don't need to continue if you found already font so we just need to uh, delete the first occurrence so if we found the string so if we found the string we need to pack the remaining elements so again we have done this uh, in an early exercise where we have packed the spaces in a string so it's not a very difficult exercise if you already uh, uh, followed me in the previous ones so we need two uh, strings so let's call it uh, S1. So they ask us to call it str and delete. So uh, str is the original uh, string. And uh, the delete one is the one that we want to delete from uh, the original uh, string. So for that, we will use uh, a counter. So I, because I need to loop over the original string. And another one, because I need to loop over the uh, second string. And a boolean to say whether we have found the string delete in str. So first we need to enter uh, both uh, uh, string. So first we enter the delete one. So print f as in the example. Enter the string to delete. And we need a string. So we will use get, deal, delete. And another one will enter the original string which is str. So enter the original string and and here we will use str so and then we need to uh, try to find uh, del in str so at first i would say that found is not found and we'll loop as long as we didn't find this so we'll loop normally uh, the first string so i equal to zero as long as str of i is different to actually zero i plus plus and as you have seen since i need to find i will and i will add this as a condition as long as i didn't find the uh, string so because if i found the string i don't need to reach the backslash zero so in 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 this uh, for loop i need to check so if the first element if str of i is equal equal to uh, del of j so zero why not so if the first character are equal so potentially if i found a p it means that i can check the remaining element so i will do a for loop here so i will start from j equal to one because already the first element is equal and as long as delete of j is different than a backslash zero and delete of j is equal equal to str of i plus j in, in this cases, I will do J++ and there's nothing to do in the string. I'm just comparing delete of J with the uh, original string I plus J. And if I f uh, I, I'm out of this loop and I found that delete of J is equal to backslash zero, it means that I have found this string and it starts at position I. So if it's equal to backslash zero, it means I have found the uh, delete element in the, into the original string and now i can uh, so the, the for loop will finish here so there's nothing to write here so i can remove uh, those curly braces and uh, i have found it and it will be at position a so if found so if i found the element if i didn't find the uh, the string i will do nothing i'll just print the same string so if i found it i will do i minus minus because i have already uh, 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 compared the first element so i am on p however i need to remove p so i need to be uh, one step behind and then i will loop for from the uh, uh, remaining element of the first string 
So as long as uh, str of i plus j is different than back plus zero, j plus plus, I will copy uh, to str of i the element str of i plus j. So here we have i, because j is the number of elements that we need to delete. And at the end, I just need to do not forget to add the backslash zero at the end of the string, because it will be packed. And this is it. At the end, let's do a printf. So uh, uh, final string will be equal, so percentage s, and I will have str of Oh, so just str. So this is it. Let me repeat quickly. So we have uh, done a loop. So we have looked over the original string in order to find the string del. So if we check and see that the first uh, two elements are equal, so I will do a for loop in order to check if I can reach uh, the end of the uh, string. So if I found this string, I will uh, place found equal to one. If I don't find a string, if there's something wrong here, I just increment i and then I move from the I just move from the second elements in the original string. Otherwise, if I find the element, I need to pack the remaining elements. So we already done this in some earlier exercises. So let's run. So I will take the same example. So phone and Alphonse. So we have the ALSE. So let's take totally, for example. And uh, yes, yeah, so it's correct. So uh, uh, you can recheck this example. Uh, it's not a bit, it's not a difficult because you already done uh, all this part separately. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to write to me, and I will answer you back, of course. And again, thanks for watching.